Hi there folks, uh, Kellen here from Nile Creek Fly Shop. Gonna tie a prom dress intruder today, uh, blue and black. Uh, so here we got a TMCO 7999 traditional black upturned hook. Um, number one is the size. Uh, we're going to end up cutting this hook at the end of it here, so uh, we're just using the shank pretty much. Um, and then as you can see we have a little trailing wire here, um, which is 20 pound Berkeley fire line. Plus I have 730 seconds dumbbell eyes on the front of it to get it down into the winter flows. Uh, first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to create a dubbing loop. Um, with the thread, uh, six aughts fine, or if you're into nano thread, nano is even better. Um, so I'm going to use a little bit of the dubbing wax here, get some wax on the thread. And then I'm going to grab this Senua's laser dub in fluorescent fuchsia. It's a beautiful pink color. It's good butt material. And what we're going to do, we're just going to start lying in some of this material here into the dubbing loop until we get an inch or so of material in there all lined up. Usually three, four clumps is all you'll need. Let's, let's three there, we'll do one more. There's the fourth clump. And then we're gonna grab ourselves a dubbing spinning tool. Pinch it. We're just going to start spinning the material in the dubbing loop. Get okay, nice and tight there. You'll see it'll start turning into that nice rope. And then you end up with... And then what we're going to do is we're going to spin it. And now we're going to palmer it to create a ball. And what we'll do is we'll create a nice big large profile ball here over top of itself a few times. And then we're going to tie it down with our thread and cut off the rest of the loop. So then you're just set with a nice ball all the way around and what that ball is going to do is actually going to help hold open the flash material as it's swinging through the water column. Now I'm going to put the flash abu on and what we're using today is the gunmetal blue. Awesome color. I'm grab a small little clump, about yay big. And what I like to do is I like to double it over of the actual fly line. So find the halfway point, double it over, lay it on the top and kind of half moon it, half moon crescent shape across the top. And then just kind of take your fingers and help move it around so it covers up the most. We're going to go back here, we're going to trim, trim it down to about there. And then what we're going to do is we're actually going to rotate the vise completely over to its upside. And we're going to do the same that we did to the top to the bottom. So that it's creating a tinsel tail all the way around the shank of the hook. Same idea, find the halfway point, double over the thread. Make sure you don't get any of those other materials trapped in your loop. Bring it up to the top and half crescent moon over. There we go. What we'll do is Make sure those bottom flashaboo fibers we just put on are the same lengths as the top, so we'll just trim them back here. <clears throat> and now what I'm going to add is I'm going to add a couple wraps of Winnie Fowl on there, Blue Dot. So 
So we don't need a really big feather, we just want kind of a nice looking all around good portion feather. And we're going to peel off the fuzz stuff off the bottom to expose the stem. And we're going to tie it at the base of the stem here. And once we get it tied down, we're just going to trim off the stem. A couple more wraps, make sure everything's nice and tight and secure so it doesn't get pulled out. And then we're going to grab our hackle pliers. And grab the end of this guinea dot feather. And we are going to palmer it as a collar. Probably two to three wraps is all you're going to need. Be careful with the tip, don't want to break it off like I just did. So there's one. And as you go, you just kind of want to brush back these fibers, making sure they're going in the right direction. There's two reps, and I think I'll do a third here. There we go, three. We're just going to tie it off here. Now you're going to have a little bit of excess, of course, and we're just going to trim that excess off after you get a good couple wraps down. Okay. Now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my vise onto the side here. So you can see I got the it lying on its side. And I'm going to, one on each side, I'm going to put these pink jungle cock, fake jungle cock eyes. Um, they're made by ProTube. They're so far the best artificial fake jungle cock I have come across so far. comes in all different colors. End up about that big. I'm gonna lie it in here. Just tie it right down on the side of the hook shank here. And we'll tie in that whole piece that we got lying in there just to make sure it's in there nice and tight and secure. And then we'll rotate the fly to the other side and do the same thing to the opposite side. Again, we'll take that jungle cock, we'll lay it onto the side of the hook, pull it down there, and we will touch it with the thread. And then we'll rotate the vise back to its standard position. And now the back end of the fly is complete. Now we're going to move on to the middle body part, which is quite simple. All we need is a little bit of blue diamond braid. Just going to tie that right in front of the guinea dot feather. Make sure all the other materials are out of the way. Get a couple good wraps to secure it down. We're going to advance the thread about two thirds of the way up the shank. I'm going to stop it right about there. And what I'm going to do with the diamond, the flat braid, diamond braid, is now we're going to palmer it over the body. done one more wrap and there it is and now we'll secure it down with the thread once again three or four nice good tight wraps should hold her down trim the excess off and you can see we got a nice blue body on there with we'll a good gap between the dumbbell eyes because we've got more to add now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create another dubbing loop We're going to add more dubbing wax, premium dubbing wax. And 
nice and good up there. And then we're going to grab same dubbing that we did for the the first butt that we did. We're going to add another uh, another butt at the front here to hold open our marabou collar that we're going to put in front of the pink stuff. So same idea. I want to lie in three four clumps of the laser dub. Clump number two. Clump number three, and then one more small clump here. Should do the trick. Clump number four. And we're going to grab our dubbing spinner again. Clip it in the bottom. Pinch just below the material with your fingers. See here? And then you're just going to start spinning it tight. And it'll eventually just start spinning on itself. Creating a nice tight dubbing rope. And then the same thing. We're just going to go over itself. Until we use it all up. Create a nice ball. Don't be afraid to, to cheat back over top of your blue diamond braid a little bit. Nothing wrong with that. Just making sure you don't crowd those dumbbell eyes. It's very important. You don't want to crowd those eyes. Oops. There we go. That's looking good. When I get here, I just like to make sure we get that dubbing loop secured nice and tight before we cut her free so she doesn't come unraveled. I got her nice and tight, and we're just going to cut that excess loop off. There we go. Now we're going to grab some just plain old black marabou. Uh, I'm just going to pick through it, going to find kind of a nice sparser looking, not so full feather. Well, looks like we got one right here. It will work. Careful that you don't break it in half. There we go. And then once again, with most feathers, you got uh, material on the bottom that just isn't very aesthetically pleasing so we just kind of peel that off get to the skinnier stem too so it's easier to palmer and we're just going to tie it in at the base I'll cut off the excess stem grab the hackle pliers again we're going to grab it by the tip now once again marabou is very delicate uh, you got to be careful that you kind of you want it to wrap it tight, but also have a delicate hold to it, so you don't constantly break the feather. So we're just going to grab the tip and collar, and we will use this whole marabou. We'll we'll just keep collaring it until it's all wrapped on there. And if you do break the tip, don't don't worry. You usually get away with it coming free a few times. Uh, it just broke off of me there. Regrab it and keep going. Now it's important as you're collaring this marabou that you constantly brush back the fibers so you're not trapping them. You want this fly to have movement and wiggle. Very important that you don't trap them down. good wraps of thread and there we go and there's that whole feather collared at this point we are close to being complete now what we're going to do is we're going to grab some nice long grizzly hackle here blue and black just long it's got lots of movement. I'm going to grab two strands. Break them off here. Okay, so I got my two strands. We're going to tie them in kind of like horns, I guess you'd call them. 
and I want them to be actually longer than what my flash tail is. So I'm going to tie it in one on each side, just behind the eyes, secure one, check out my length, that's good. Grab my other grizzly hackle, and do the same to the opposite side. Trim off the excess. And there we go. And you can see there we got those two nice long horns there. Now at this point we are almost done. What we're going to do is we're going to pretty up the head a little bit. And what I like to use to make this head a little bit more shinier than just plain thread is uh, something called straggle string. It's UV. I don't know if you could see the letters on it or not. It's pretty hard to see there. Grab a few inches of it. Tie it in. And then we're just going to figure eight wraps around this dumbbell eye to finish it off. Make sure you advance the thread to the front of the dumbbells before you start figurating your straggle string. Now you can use multiple things other than straggle string. You, we, we could have put dubbing on the thread and done it this way too, but I just prefer this uh, UV straggle string. I think it adds a little bit extra to the fly. So we're going to start off by doing a few wraps behind the dumbbells and then we're going to go into actually figure eighting around the dumbbell with the string. This way, a couple more that way. Oops. And then a couple wraps just in front of the dumbbells. And secure it down with a thread. And cut off the excess. Now you want to whip fish, whip finish, or half hitch, whatever you prefer. I usually just do a couple hand whips and then a couple half hitches is what I prefer. And then of course a little dot of zap a gap to finish the fly off and to make sure she doesn't come unwrapped. Make sure you don't put too much zap a gap, you just need a drop just like that. All right, and then that is the finished fly. Lots of blue flash, lots of sparkle. It's got a big profile, but it's easy to cast at the same time. All right, thanks for watching.